हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दीपिका वेलकम टू ब्राइट लर्नर्स एकेडमी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू फ्यू इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स ऑफ एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट अ वीडियो या यू कैन सी देर इज वन टेडी बेयर ओके सपोज योर फादर गेव यू वन टेडी बेयर एंड इन इवनिंग योर मदर ऑल्सो गेव यू टू टेडी बेयर्स okay now if i ask you to put them together then it would be 3 okay so your father gave you one teddy bear and your mother gave you two teddy bears in evening when you put them together so they became 3 okay put them together means you are adding them so 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 you all know addition right so 1 plus 2 is 3 okay now if i say it inversely okay if i say in a, in an opposite manner so suppose your father gave you two teddy bears in morning and your mother gave you one teddy bear in evening now if i ask you to put them together so again it would be 3 Okay, so your father gave you two, and your mother gave one teddy bear. So when you put them together, when you add them, so they will become three teddy bears. So two plus one is three. Okay, now I hope uh, this point is little bit clear to you that in earlier slide it was one plus two equals to three. and in this it is 2 plus 1 equals to 3 and answer is same in both the slides right 3 is the answer okay now in maths we say it commutative property okay commutative property is according to commutative property of addition when two numbers are added in any order the sum remains the same it means a plus b is equals to b plus a what does it mean so we can sum it in any order we can do 2 plus 5 is 7 you know this and if you do 5 plus 2 it's also same Seven. Okay, so in this way, we can say two plus five is equals to five plus two because both the answer is seven, right? So we can say two plus five is equals to five plus two. Okay. Now, uh, let's take few more examples. Suppose one fifty plus fifty uh, is two hundred. That you know actually, one fifty plus fifty is two hundred. Now, if I change the order, okay. Now this time, I do fifty plus one fifty. Okay. In earlier case, I did one fifty plus fifty. Now this time, I am doing fifty plus one fifty. but the answer is same it is still 200 so it means it doesn't matter the order okay i can add any number first and any number in the second uh, number okay so the it doesn't matter the order this is the commutative property so in this manner i can say 150 plus 50 is equals to 50 plus 150 okay in this i just change the order earlier i did 150 first and in second i did 50 first okay so i can say 150 plus 50 is equals to 50 plus 150 okay let's take one more example so 2500 plus 3000 is equals to 5500 that you know and if uh i change the order okay now this time i am doing uh 3000 plus 2500 now still the answer is same you can say 5500 the answer is still same right so you can do in any way 3 plus 5 is equals to 8 and 5 plus 3 is also 8 
so you can do in any order the answer would be same okay so in this manner i can say 2500 plus 3000 is equals to 3000 plus 2500 right okay now let's solve few questions okay so generally in exam the your uh, question would come in this manner okay in fill in the blanks form so 500 plus 200 is equals to 200 plus what yeah i think you guess it right yeah correct so it would be 500 only okay because this is 500 plus 200 now because they are saying is equals to so according to commutative property so it would be 500 only okay now let's do the second part so it is 355 plus 418 is equals to dash plus 355 if you know the answer then please comment below yeah right i think you are right so the answer would be 418 because there is 355 plus 488 sorry 418 sorry my mistake okay so 355 is here also already so i can put 418 here okay now let's check the third one so it is 1658 plus dash equals to 2356 plus 1658 so if i see it carefully so 1658 is already here so what number is missing here this one so it means in this blank 2356 should come right Okay now oh, I hope it's clear to you okay now let's do the last part so it is dash plus 3012 is equals to 3012 plus 278 right so 3012 it's already there in the left hand side it's already there so what is missing yeah 278 is missing in this so i will write 278 8 okay now i hope it's clear to you now you know commutative property is also applicable under multiplication how let's uh, have a look so a into b is equals to b into a like in addition it was a plus b equals to b plus a uh, you can say 3 4s are is 12 and 4 3s are is also 12 right okay see 3 4s are 12 and 4 3s are also 12 so i can say 3 into 4 is equals to 4 into 3 because both have same answer that is 12 okay now let's take one more example 8 into 4 is 32 right 8 4s are 32 likewise 4 8s are 32 right 8 4s are 32 and 4 8s are 32 both are same right so we can say 8 into 4 is equals to 4 into 8 it's similar to the addition but we can say commutativity under multiplication and in addition you will write the property name commutativity under addition right now let's solve few questions of multiplication also the pattern would be same as in addition okay so this is 6 into 8 8 into what yeah you can comment below If you know the answer, please comment. Okay, so six into eight is equals to eight into six, right? Now, in second uh, question, it is dash into two hundred thirty-four is equals to two hundred thirty-four multiplied by six hundred eighty-four, right? So, which number is missing in the left-hand side? Yes, it is six hundred eighty-four. So. 684 should come in this blank okay 
Now third part 1875 into 260 is equals to dash into 1875. So let's have a look and see which number is missing in this. 1875 is already here, right? So which number is missing? 260. So I will write 260 in this blank. Okay, baby. Now, next and the last part, 2654 multiply by dash is equals to 4085 multiply by 2654, right? So, I think you know the answer. So, let's write it. So, answer is 4085. This is your homework. You can send me your answer in comment box. Okay, baby. Now, uh, we will discuss associative property in our next video. Okay. Till then, bye-bye.